I am making this video to show the functionality of this uh, 7T327F80. As you can see there, it belongs to uh, a customer. And I repaired it because uh, the movement was busted, the circuit block was broken, and it had a couple of other uh, issues. Uh, so you can see now that the movement is pulsing right away. I'm going to uh, do a small close up so you can see it. And the alarm is now set. Pushing the crown in will put the uh, lowest dial in the dual time mode. Uh, pushing it out, I'm going to take a movement holder so that I can do that a little bit easier. There you go. And pushing the, the crown out to outwards will. Oh, it's not easier to push it out more. Um, we'll set the alarm and you will hear a bip, a chime. There you go. This chime was not present before. The C pusher sets the alarm, which is working. And I will set the alarm at one minute from now. No, oh, too much. Sorry. Oh, you hear it. Anyway, I will set it. I will let it at twelve thirty. As you can see, so we have four minutes. Meanwhile, I will demonstrate uh, another uh, resolved issue. It was that uh, while the alarm was engaged, so the, the second crown here, the lower crown was pulled out to the first position, the chronograph was not working, and now it's working. So I will let the chronograph also run just to show up the full functionality of the movement. Just bear with me a little bit more patient. And let's see if we can make the the alarm just Start a little bit earlier. There you go in two minutes. So now you should see the minute counting and jump to one. Perfect. Uh, it is normal that while the chronograph works, the alarm sets off and does this strange BDBDBDB. -bd 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 -bd. So, chronograph resets. I have to better adjust the chronograph's resetting position. It doesn't reset perfectly to zero, but that is not an issue. And now you will hear the full chronograph in one minute. Other things that I did on this That's full. So 
So, other things that I did on this watch was to repaint the numbers on the tachymeter scala on the bezel because they were the paint was off. Now, as you can see, it's it's painted. Um, and then I do I did a general cleaning of the watch. So last thing I need to do is just to adjust the hands, and that I will do now. And I'll show you how also the date change works. As you can see, it changes perfectly well. So it's 12.31 now. So we'll put it in 12.32. There you go. And Oh, I forgot. I needed to. Oops. Okay. 